think about sort of a much broader set of places that issue you those credentials. Right? So think if the, the way to think about this is the technological platforms that give you badges and certifications and, cre and they may say credit in some cases or you, you took credit for you took this course, but all of them then essentially like being in a virtual campus, right? So that you can put together your education on top of an educational, on one of these platforms with guaranteed quality assured, yes, you learned this, and here is the credential you have, and here is how you can use that credential. All right. Many of you ought to be horrified by now. We are sitting at the University of Toronto, and I come to you from Princeton and a number of other highly accredited universities. And I have just been talking about education, let's face it, as a commodity. Right? When you see quality assurance, shoes or cars or something. You're not thinking our cherished liberal arts, critical thinking, open the mind, beloved model of North American education, which I would go to the mat for. You know, I got the best and my great books courses and my courses and things that I had, you know, that were totally irrelevant to anything I was ever going to do in life were absolutely fabulous. And we have to save liberal arts. And the presidents of top universities like this one are all swearing that we have to sw save liberal arts. And we do. I believe in the value of a liberal arts education. But in a world where 14%, 14% of the people who need to be educated in the United States at a time when inequality is greater than it's ever been, and unless you can really get the skills you need to work in a new economy, we've got to find a way to defend liberal arts for those who can benefit and profit from liberal arts. And many of the people who start out getting certificates and vocational trainings, if life goes well, they'll find themselves having earned a good income and being able to take great books online or in their local course, right? There's no, the assumption that you only do this between 18 and 22 is one of the things that goes by the board we're going to have to simultaneously cherish and protect our liberal arts and treat education enough like a commodity that we can assure the quality, that we can find many, many, many different markets for it, uh, and, and that we can uh, allow people to pursue it and get it measured and get it credentialed in any way that they can.